Hey everyone, this is Jerm, and this is College Pro Tips, a series where I help those of you in college looking to go to college, or maybe you've just heard of college, and I am giving you advice. Not that I know everything, but I did do fairly well in college, so anything I can do to help, I love to do. Now today, I want to talk about all-nighters. I'm sure you're all familiar with the concept of an all-nighter, and you probably have pulled one at one point. An all-nighter is a really, really bad decision uh, wrapped up in the guise of trying to get all your work done. And on the surface, it's very understandable. You've got a lot of work you need to get done. Uh, you don't have enough time to do it. So the only solution is to stay up all night and try to power through some assignment. Well, this is a really flawed idea uh, for a couple reasons. Reason number one, I really really doubt you just flat out don't have time to do something. I was never in a class in college when some, where something was assigned to me like the day before it was due that was just too massive to possibly do in one day's time, you know, one afternoon's time, something like that. That just didn't happen. Now, I guess there is a possibility that that has happened to you, but for everyone I knew in college who pulled all-nighters, most of the time they could have gotten the work done before, they just didn't. And if you're a procrastinator, you need to realize that so you can try to avoid getting yourself into really sticky situations like having to stay up all night. Uh, so instead of trying to stay up all night, try to concentrate on getting your work done earlier. Even just an extra half hour a day over the course of a week could completely eliminate your need to stay up an entire night and work on something. Now, you may wonder, well, what's the harm in doing everything at once? Well, it's not necessarily a problem. The problem is that everything else will suffer. I know you might think and you might feel that you can stay up all night and you're just fine the next day. I mean, heck, most of the people I knew in college had that same opinion. Oh, I'm fine. I'll just have an energy drink. I'll just drink a coffee. It's no big deal. I stay up all the time. And it may not feel like a big deal because you're used to it. But really, no one is a superhuman. No one just doesn't need sleep. People just get so used to being sleep deprived that they feel like that's normal and they feel like they're okay. Really, if that's you, you're just deluding yourself because you've gotten so used to the current sleep deprived state that you're in. The human body, for an adult, it needs seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Nine hours is really great. And that's just science, like you can, you can look it up, people have done the research, it's not something you can really argue about, it's just the truth. And the truth is, you need a good amount of sleep. And if you don't get enough sleep, your body actually, your cognition slows down, your motor skills decline, and you kind of turn into one of those uh, zombified college students slouching your way across campus with that dead look in their eyes, desperately clinging to their coffee mug, hoping to get through just another day. And that is not what you want to be. You're not your brightest self, you're not your smartest, you're not your sharpest, you're not your most creative, you're not your nicest self when you are sleep deprived. So pulling an all-nighter, while it might get work done for a certain class, the work is probably not going to be of your best quality, because uh, at some point, I mean, if you're at the point where you need to stay up all night, you're kind of past the point of putting your absolute best foot forward. At that point, you're just trying to get the work done. And it won't be your best work, so you probably won't get your best grade. And because you're staying up all night, any other classes you have that day, any other tests, papers, anything else you need to work on will suffer because you will need to sleep during the day at some point, which will throw off your sleep cycle, making you more tired for a couple days to come. And it's really just a bad sequence of events that can easily be avoided if you just plan ahead. Now, I know for people our age, planning ahead is not something we are traditionally good at, but it can be done. You just have to stop treating college like some grand experiment and treat it like something you're paying a lot of money to go do and you need to take very seriously. I mean, college is fun. It's a lot of fun. You can have some of the most fun you've ever had there. But... You also need to be very careful and make sure you are taking care of yourself. So don't pull an all-nighter. Plan ahead. Do your work early. Uh, do at least a little bit of your work each day, and you should be able to stay on top of it uh, without too much pr trouble. And if you get an assignment that you just flat out will not be able to do without staying up all night, which, again, I don't think that really happens all that often or ever, Go talk to your professor, see if you can get a bit of an extension on it, explain that you don't want to stay up all night, uh, you don't want to lose a lot of your sleep, you want to stay sharp, fresh, and focused for their class, and I bet they'll work with you. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any topics you want me to talk about, leave them in a comment below or send me a message, and I'll do my best. And see you next time.